With so many changes happening lately at sdg and &E, it can be confusing to know how much you're paying and what rate structure you're under with your power. So that's why Tyler is here from BVI Solar to help answer these questions for us. So Tyler, what are the different options or different ways people might be paying for electricity today? So most customers in uh, San Diego County are under what's called time of use plans or TLU. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is where your electricity between 4 to 9 p.m. is actually a lot more expensive than the other parts of the day. And they might be aware of this through the commercials with the cute little Apple Watch that says reduce and save. And all that's really to say because it's really expensive during that time. And I love that the solution really is why don't you sit in a darkened room from four to nine, uh, you know, it's become a Neanderthal or a caveman for, for that period of time so you don't over overspend. Yeah, that's great marketing. <laughs> great marketing. Uh, so if they're not under that, is there, are there any other options people might be paying under right now? Uh, some customers might be grandfathered into a plan that doesn't have the standard time of use, but, but the eventually they'll have to move. Uh, that's the plan for the utility and that's where everyone's going to go to. Now, How does solar factor into this? So uh, solar uh, produces electricity during the day uh, when the sun's out. And so part of why the time frame of four to nine was chosen is because that is when solar tends to not produce electricity, the sun is down, but also that is when uh, homeowners and consumers tend to use the most. You get home from work, you get home from school, you turn on the lights, you turn on the TV, you cook dinner, and most people wind down their night around 9 p.m. So that is uh, through uh, data shown as the peak time of use throughout the day. So it makes sense that people are using more electricity then. It used to be that the, uh, they were using it during the daytime when, the, uh, when they were using air conditioning it, it was, was one of the drivers. But the fact, uh, factor of solar and the uh, amount of electricity it's producing has really changed some of those dynamics. Does it make sense for people to wait to go solar because of some of these changes with time of use? Because time of use is expensive, and if you're paying not under solar, it's, it's costing you a lot more for electricity today. It, it definitely does cost more, but they absolutely should not wait. And the reason for that is because of this thing called net metering and NEM 2.0. So the utility has this protocol of net metering where it uh, charges you one kilowatt hour for, uh, for one kilowatt hour produced. Uh, however, they have the option to adjust that over time. Right now we're on what's called NEM 2.0, which means that solar is not as advantageous as it was during NEM 1.0. But and it's still advantageous. It still is advantageous, but as people wait longer, it's gonna get less and less advantageous. That coupled with reducing tax credits means that now's the time to go solar and waiting is only gonna lose you money. Absolutely. It's been that way for a while and it's getting, it's getting more so. If you want a disutility company and get in control of your power, call BBI Solar today. If you need to get a solar quote, one of them you have to get from BBI Solar, you owe it to yourself. <laughs> if you enjoyed that video, please take a moment to subscribe. When you do, you'll have full access to all of our videos, from full episodes to quick tips. It's all great information that covers everything you need to know for your home. So hit that subscribe button below and check out more videos.